Hello Awesome IELTS students, my name is Jessica Beck and I am the host of this YouTube channel as well as co-host of the IELTS Energy Podcast. You, sub you can subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher wherever you get your podcasts or just listen on our website. Um, all the YouTube videos plus extra blog posts, all the podcasts are on our site. Go to IELTS.AllEarsEnglish.com. Okay, let's get into it. So. Um, we often recommend that students listen to podcasts, right? To improve your listening, obviously, um, mainly to improve your listening, but also guys, to get perspectives and vocabulary to help you in speaking and writing. All right, on that note, stop listening to student podcasts, except ours, still listen to ours, but stop listening to podcasts made for students. If you really want to improve your listening, guys, you need to listen to, to podcasts made for native speakers. So today I'm going to tell you five ways that you can use the podcast, right? What do you, so do you just listen to it and forget it? Is that enough to improve? Well, it'll help but you can use the podcast in more ways. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example today. Five ways to use a podcast called On The Media. Uh, it's amazing, I've been listening to this show for a decade, <laughs> and it's one of my favorite radio shows. Um, okay, so the reason why I chose this podcast is because it has transcripts. Yeah, it's always hard to find shows with transcripts. Okay, so the first way to use the podcast, um, well, okay, the, sorry. The first step is to choose a podcast made for native speakers. Today, of course, on the media is what I chose. Um, the most recent episode was about uh, fake news. In the headlines, everyone's talking about fake news. So it's a whole episode about that. It's fascinating, you guys. Using stuff, using information and ideas from that on the speaking and writing test, gold, G gold. <laughs> okay, so that's the first step, of course, choose a native speaker podcast. Second step to improve listening skills is to listen, read the transcript for half of it, and then for the second half, because on the media is like an hour long, and then for the second half, just listen. Okay, so it helps build your understanding in the first half by reading along and then in the second half, you're only relying on the audio. Okay, great way to build skills. The third step, after you finish listening to the podcast, talk out loud, I've mentioned this activity before, talk out loud for five minutes to yourself, to a friend, what have you. First, summarize the information that you heard, anything you remember, and then react. Here's the key. This is what improves fluency. React to the information. Say, give your opinion, your feelings, anything um, that made you change your mind, perhaps, right? Something that surprised you. That's how you fill that five minutes that I'm talking about. Okay. Fourth step. Get the transcript, go back to the transcript and just read the whole thing from start to finish, but read it out loud. Um, there are, there's more than one voice on the show, right? So this would be fun to do with a partner because um, parts of it are interviews. So you guys could take on the roles, but if you don't have anyone to practice speaking English with, that's okay. You can read the whole thing out loud. Again, it's like an hour. You don't have to read the whole thing. <laughs> Let's go for 10 minutes, okay? So um, reading anything out loud, but especially native speaker speech like this is a great way to improve fluency, guys, just strengthening that ability to get out the words, all right? So that's the fourth step. Now, the fifth step is to go back to the transcript again, choose three vocabulary words and add them to your vocab notebook. So the podcast and more specifically the episode I'm talking about today would be under the IELTS topics of um, communication, 
and news, of course. So um, this is a great podcast, guys, uh, especially if you're preparing for IELTS. But please exploit it. Learn and practice as many skills as much as you can for each episode. I'll put all the steps I just said in the uh, notes below this video. So check those out. And guys, if you're ready for all the strategies for listening, reading, speaking, writing, all the practice you need, plus an anti-anxiety module, really help you fully prepare for your next IELTS exam, check out our course, The Three Keys IELTS Success System. It is guaranteed to raise your next IELTS results if you do everything in the course you will see an increase in your scores or we'll refund your money for the course and pay for your exam. Ah! Yes, so go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. Okay guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. Please share these videos in whatever platforms you have so more people can find us and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.